So peeps, my name's Ian, I sell books on eBay, and I'm going to be saying something today that I never imagined I would be saying. Right, before we get to all that nonsense, 15-ish orders going out altogether, maybe 14, I think one of them's a doubler, we'll get to that. Uh, a few singles, a few bundles, some bits a bit interesting. Let's have a look at what we've got. Anyway, first up is a bit of a monster. So I need to grab my bubble wrap, <coughs> which is here. You can't see that, but I can, and that's the important thing. Right. So the first thing we have going out today is a set of three Webster's Third New International Dictionary and Seven Language Dictionary. So, a bit of a monster for posting, but we've got a box, so we'll wrap it up, we'll stick them in the box and they'll all be good. Big books, but I picked them up the same way I pick up everything else. And they cost me about 75p for the three of them. And they sold for, not huge money, but uh, £15 plus postage. So, not a bad return on 75 little pennies. Did it sell promoted? Of course it did. So, this is our first little order of the day. It's been another average day so we've gone from lots of poor days up to two or three average days in a row which is some relief and can only hope that that's now an upward trend all the way through to the new year so that we can all celebrate the festive season and spend all our money anyway we've got my box Pop them in there. <clears throat> I'm going to size it down a little bit. But first, put some of my scrap paper. Cram the corners. So hopefully, it doesn't move about. It doesn't move about in the box too much. Right. I usually wait in two boxes when I finish the vid, but as this is the first order to go out, I'm just going to do it just now. And you can all have the delight and pleasure of watching me cut bits of cardboard. What better way to spend a few minutes, eh? label and trim this edge sorted one box box shaped and ready to go so we'll get my tape on that and see how much it's going to weigh I don't think it'll be under two kilograms I think it may be slightly more than two kilograms. Forgive the tape noise. Bits. 
nice and tight and together. Third International Dictionary, whatever it was called, and it's going to cost, well, it's going to weigh 7 kilos, so it's a bit of a beast, and it's going to L5, 7,000 L5, there you go, one done. Right, that was the only big beast we've got for today. Everything else is kind of small bundles and singles. Oh, a slurp of the good stuff. Right, next we have going to TR11, My Hidden Chimp. So, something to do with kids, helpful habits to manage emotions, thinking and behaviour in children. So this one sold for £5.50 plus postage. Another quite recent pickup. As I said before, if you see any of these kind of self-help books, if they're pennies, pick them up. They're quite often only sell for three, four pounds. But sometimes they're a wee bit more, like this one. And it's also the type of book people want to pay postage on and buy them as standalones. So you can spend your 20, 30, 50p and make a couple of quid back. Which, considering how long they take to list and pack, is alright. There we go. And this is going to, what did I say, TR11, TR11, come on scales, and it's 600 grams, I just look two down, next we have, oh, a wee bundle of DVDs, uh, there we go, Ninjago, Season 1 and 2, parts 1 and 2 of each. So these will be heading out to W12 and we paid £6 plus postage. Well, actually, they didn't pay £6 plus postage, they paid £4 plus postage because that would have been there. Uh, you buy, buy four and get 30 or 40% off or something. Uh, what was the, the total order value was £7.25, so it was 40% off. But I buy my DVDs, 10 for a pound, sometimes even cheaper, because that's what the shops sell them for that I go to. So, those four DVDs, about 40 pence, and they're turning into... £3 odd in sales uh, and they didn't sell promoted so only a pound or so in fees so again making one fifty two pounds off of those uh, less VAT on the sale etc so really don't make much in those at all but every penny counts 350 grams and do they say they're going W12? Right, there's another one in the pile. Next, we have, where is it? Alex Gray. We've got an Alex Gray book, which is here Five Ways to Kill a Man. Glasgow author. I'm assuming that's another Glasgow story because it's a picture of Glasgow on the front. Um, let's see if this is going to Scotland or somewhere further afield. It's going to WA5. Don't 
think that's in Scotland. But what do I know? Right, February 5. Most of Alex Gray. And he's going to be about 400 grams. Open in the bag. So it was WA5 400. Right, next we have something a little bit different. I'm going to stick it in one of these little bags. <clears throat> so, my name's Ian and I sell books on eBay, but I also sell other bits and pieces. So, we have an All Saints shirt. I'm not going to unfold it because it's quite fine and it's a bit of a pain in the backside to fold up again nice and neat. So I'm just going to pop it straight into that bag. Squeeze the air out of it. And seal it up. Now I could go to great lengths to try and get that down to large letter size, but ends up being more trouble than it's worth and then air gets into the bag and it puffs it up and you get a bill from Royal Mail CT19 this is going to uh, and it sold for £13 plus postage next we have a jigsaw so let's get a guy who's having a bit of a clear out and he gave me a big stack of jigsaws they take up room they don't sell for an awful lot but uh, like seven quid plus postage for each one. So I've got them stuck away in a corner and they sell in fits and starts. And if this is anything, makes us a couple of quid. Nothing spectacular, but you know, it helps them have a clear out. If I don't want them and can't sell them, I'll just take them straight to the charity shops. But I know they don't sell a huge number of jigsaws either, so I'll give them a good box. They're still sitting here after Christmas. I'll take them into the shop and get rid of them. And they can sit in their shelves for a year or two. So, this is a Coronation Street jigsaw. How wonderful. And I don't even put these in boxes anymore. I just bag over one end, bag over another, and off the scoot. Jigsaws, I don't like selling jigsaws, especially pre-owned ones, because you just never know if they're complete. And making a pound or two on them isn't worth sitting and counting out a thousand, two thousand, three thousand pieces. So, because I know where these came from, I'm like 99.9% confident that they are complete. Uh, otherwise, I just wouldn't bother. And I've picked up a couple from like charity shops in the past when we've been selling them cheap, and about half of them, people come back saying, oh, I've just done the jigsaw and there was a piece missing or something similar so I then refund them because where's the fun in that and that costs me money so I don't bother with picking them up in the actual charity shops but like I say these ones came from a pile round you the source right it's a bit sealed over I'm just going to put that tape along the top edge Tape noises and more tape noises and <clears throat> cut the tape. Right, what's this way? Let's call it 900. 900 and Coronation Street is going to CF27. Go. Oh, an 
every postage, postage, an average post delivery pack, you know what I mean, every parcel. Right, let's get the next few up. Where are we? Right, okay, okay. Picked these up weeks ago. Uh, Robert, Kirk Robert Kirkman, Walking Dead books. So it's a set of four. I've got them listed in a variation listing so people don't have to buy all four. But I've got a couple of sets of them and that's the first one that sold. So those four books sold for £9.22 and that's including postage. So four or five books for a tenner I'm always quite happy with because that means I'll make a couple of quid and they're easy to pick and pack so cost me a pound get three pounds back maybe a wee bit more and if I can do that all day I'll be a very happy boy unfortunately I don't do it all day I only do it for about an hour a day Still a sale I'm very happy with. So thank you for buying them. To whoever bought them. Right. This weighs 900 grams. 900 grams. And it's going to DY4. DY4. And it's in the pile. Next we've got a wee single book. Daniel Steele, Fall from Grace, hardcover. Lovely. And this sold for, I'll tell you in a second once I look at the screen. But right now, I'm wrapping up Danny S. It sold for £4 plus postage. £7.65. As I may have mentioned once or twice before, hardcovers. I charge more for them because they're heavier and there's a good chance somebody is going to want to buy a bundle of hard covers and if I don't charge slightly more for them despite that not being the trend on eBay then I end up losing money because the postage doubles so I have to be very careful of that and they still sell nothing goes super fast but they do still sell that's 650 grams and Danny Steele is going to Itman 25 IP 25 and into the bundle right next here we go we have Terry Pratchett making money and Terry Pratchett sorcery sorcery is like the proper 80s edition uh, 12 quid 3 quid so that was a nice wee sale and, and, this is what I never, not I never thought I would say, because I never even thought about saying it or not saying it, but I never imagined I would say it. These are going to a subscriber. So, thank you, Paul, for your purchase and your kind words. Really appreciate your support. And we'll get these out to you. But actually, this video will probably be going out on Friday. Today is Wednesday, so this will most likely be going out Friday, I think Friday, no, maybe tomorrow, we'll see what the schedule looks like, uh, so if you ain't got them yet, they'll be with you very, very soon, so once again, thank you Paul for your purchase and your support, really appreciate it just a small business and if people don't buy books from us don't make any money so that's fantastic thank you very much again right down there and it weighs 450 grams and that's the postcode excellent right on to the next we have a little bundle of Beast Quest. You know I like selling these. 
If you see one in the shop, you usually see a dozen. So they're always worth picking up and people seem to like them. Quick wrap of the bubbles. Snip it. Stick it. And stick it again. Quest shelf is actually only about half full at the moment. There's quite a few gone lately. And despite what I just said a moment ago, you know, you see one, you'll see a dozen. In the last couple of times I found them, there's only been two or three. So there will be a restock of those required. Hopefully I will see some soon. Right, next up we have a bundle of David Williams. sell a lot of these but I haven't sold many in a wee while but ta da gangster granny billionaire boy awful auntie bad dad and el demonico dentisto that's just the demon dentist in some stupid made up language so let's stack these up it's two skinnies two junkies and a hard cover on top against David Williams sells well if you get good condition books then people will buy them and I used to have three full shelves of these now I've got two full shelves so another one that has sold well but I've not seen that many of them lately get my eyes open for hopefully get something good yeah. mm -hmm. a few orders to go let's see if that done rather quickly this morning that one there one of the way one point nine six so very close to my two kilo limit which it would have cost me an awful lot more so I'm quite glad about that it's just on the right side of the postage cost and next we have now this is one that I actually sold as a set so Patrick Ness the Chaos Walking series book one book two and book three quite enjoyed the film I've got one of the first one of these sitting on my own shelf to read sometime. I know they're like kids' books, but quite often that means they're quite good because they can't be full of all the glorified nonsense that a lot of grown-up books use just to get the thrills. They've actually got to be quality writing, and if you've never heard of Patrick Ness, then pick up a Monster Calls and read it will break you in two. It's a brilliant book. And again, a children's book, but you know, absolute classic. I think all the kids do it at school now. Uh, so yeah, A Monster Calls, if you've never read Patrick Ness. And then why not give the Chaos Walking Trilogy a wee go? Because that's what I'm going to do. Up. So three of those books I just put out for seven pounds and fifty pence plus postage. So again, about a tenner per sale, which is what I want to achieve. I mean, more's always nice, but this is where I try to live, and it's going to IG ten right, into the pile. 
Right, we're getting close to the end, so we have a wee slurp. I'll finish it before it gets cold. Right. Okay, next. I spoke about this the other day. Julia Donaldson. If you see them, buy them and sell them. £1.99 plus postage. I was selling these quite well for like three quid each. But I figured, you know, kids' books. Typically, not always, but typically, I'll get them for like ten for a pound, seven for a pound. So it just doesn't seem right charging too much to get them back out there. But for the kids, getting kids to read is one of the most important things, in my opinion. I've got two kids, neither of them really do. And they get to do likes of their English exams. And because they don't read, they can't write. Now, I know that sounds a bit ridiculous probably, but when you do any exam, any subject, any job that involves pen and paper, I'm going to put a wee bit of card in this just to keep it rigid. Then it's not just about being able to spell and have correct punctuation. You've got to be able to write well. You've got to be able to, you know, produce a bit of writing that people will want to read. It doesn't matter if it's a, a report for your boss, an essay, just answering a quick whatever it is, you have to be able to write well. And if you don't read, then the only style that you've ever been exposed to will be whatever you've done in the classroom, whatever your teacher has given you to do. And to be honest, that's probably not going to cut it. If you read lots of different books, whether it's Julia Donaldson, John Connolly, Daniel Steele, Stephen King, Charles Dickens, whatever it is, then you're going to have much more exposure to different writing styles and therefore have much, much more to kind of dig into to create your own writing style or several of your own writing styles depending on the circumstance. So being able to write requires you to read. Not to be able to read, but actually to read. Read lots of books. Read lots and lots and lots of books. And then that will vastly improve how you write. And if something's well written, not just correctly written, but well written, then it's much easier to read. So if it's an exam, you'll score better. If it's something for a boss, they'll find it more acceptable. There's so much to it. Anyway, that's what I think. So let's get these kids' books out to the kids for the best possible price so that in years to come they will keep reading and keep producing more and more great written work be it literature or just something for their mind to buy that's my opinion anyway this bundle which I never showed you there is three John Cor and Lee books uh, and Quiet, The Lovers, and The Book of Lost Things. Is that right? And Quiet, The Lovers. Yes, and The Book of Lost Things. Well, there and there. £9.15. So, again, that kind of £10 mark that I'm always on the lookout for 1,100 grams and the amazing Mr John Connolly is going to CO10 out of John Connolly I've still got the Furies sat on my shelf waiting to be read and I'm going to read it sometime soon and it's one of these authors I like to save them until I know I've got the one after ready to go just in case there aren't any more I was going to have one left Anyway, last up we've got Leanne, Leanne, Leanne Moriarty, 
I haven't sold these in ages, and then that's three bundles going out in the last couple of days. So, let's get them on there. One ninety nine each, but buy two get one free, so seven pound something. Seven pound sixty three for those three books. So short of my ten pound mark, but seventy five pence cost. Seven pound fifty sale. Yep, yep, ten times and ten times in, ten times, whatever you pay for them. So there has to be profit in that somewhere. Three pound thirty to post it, twenty p in the packaging, so it's three fifty off. Probably a couple of quid in fees. So I'm making maybe a pound or so selling those three books, which is more than doubling my money. Just need to do a lot of them. G67, so it's somewhere in the greater Glasgow area. Excellent. Right, that's everything done for today. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope there's been something in here that's been even slightly useful. I'm now kneeling on the ground in the, in the prayer position. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Blah, blah, blah. Love you. See you. Bye.